what you're looking at, boys and girls, is the rotary attachment for the BMO uh, 30 watt laser. Now this rotary attachment actually goes underneath the BMO. Now I took the liberty of removing the, um, what is that called, the zip tie for the cable because this is the cable that's going to be attached here, the one end, and the other end is gonna be attached underneath the BMO 30. Before attaching the rotary unit to the bottom of the flux BMO, you want to disconnect the power cord completely to ensure that the machine does not power on when hooking the rotary cable to the flux BMO. Before mounting the rotary uh, laser engraver on top of the rotary attachment, you're gonna take the one end of the ribbon cable, as you see here, and you're going to push down and make sure it's firmly secure. The other end will be attached to the bottom of the rotary laser. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to be removing the honeycomb tray, which is in the bottom of the flux BMO. And what I did here is, so I don't, you know, screw it up or put it in wrong back in place after I'm done with the rotary, is I put the letter F here for front. And this honeycomb tray is actually held down by, you know, and they're pretty strong. They're magnets, which you will see when you turn it around, the magnetic strips. All right. So it lifts out of the flux BMO completely. With the honeycomb tray removed, you will see the bottom of the BMO itself, which is a metal plate, which we're going to be removing, all right, giving us greater depth, which will allow us to do up to 30 ounce tumblers. And the bottom plate, I'm going to see if, you can, if I can show you here, is held in by four screws, okay, which you will remove. There's the second one, and of course, the other two are underneath. So give me a moment. I'm going to remove the plate. Okay, the bottom plate has been removed. And as you can see, I also marked it with the letter F showing me that this is the front or the part facing me. All right, we're going to move the plate to the side, get it out of the way. And now we are looking through the bottom of the flux BMO. And I moved the railing. You can move it back and forth so you could see. Here is my actual table top. Okay, so we're going to now hook up the Flux BMO rotary attachment. Now, I do have to caution you. The Flux BMO, the 30 watt, is literally a 50 pound unit. The rotary attachment, which I just installed underneath the bottom of the BMO, and it's very hard to see, but there's the seam. It actually sits perfectly like a tray onto the rotary attachment is also heavy. So this part is going to require two people, one to uh, move the tray underneath and the other person to lift up the 50 pound unit. And remember, before you uh, get ready to plug the power cord back into the back of the BMO, make sure the other end of the ribbon cable that you originally hooked up into the rotary attachment is now uh, inserted or forward slash plugged into the bottom of the flux BMO. What I did want to show you before I even plug in the power cord is the adjustment knob, this here. This adjustment knob, when you turn it, will determine, depending on the size of your tumbler or cup, it causes the rollers to move either closer together or further apart, all right? And you'll determine that when you are putting in the item that you want to engrave. That's your rotary uh, laser attachment uh, to the uh, BMO, and you're all set up. Uh, it's powered on. You launch your software, the BMO software that you're looking at at this moment. So um, when using the rotary attachment, what you want to make sure is you're going to go up to, um, what do you call it? Let me see here. Uh, find it. Okay. Go up to your edit in BMO, document settings. 
I know that sounds weird, all right? And you want to make sure that the rotary attachment is enabled. I've already gone ahead and enabled it to save some time, all right? And you hit save, all right? Now, you're going to do the same thing you did with, you know, um, the flat uh, engraving stuff. So, now there's a line here, and I've already moved it, but you see this line I'm moving? When you first launch it, the BMO, the line is up here. You want to bring the line to the center of the BMO uh, workspace, okay? And then you'll go over to images, I'm sorry, camera, that's right here, because we want to take a picture. Let's uh, connect to the enterprise, because you want to take a picture of the bed of the laser, which now has the rollers in place. It's connecting to the enterprise. There's my camera. And we're going to, again, highlight. And I always do the whole area, basically. Wait for it to take its pictures. And as you can see now, we're looking at the rollers. There is my um, glass. Let it finish taking pictures. I, I love this software. I really do. It's so much easier than the K40s, you know, Inkscape and bringing everything over to Whispera. All right. So I already took the liberty. I've already made the image. I've sized it. You can size it. And remember, you've got to, you know, um, turn the image so it's not printing the wrong way on the glass. All right. And you can make the letters taller or wider by unlocking the little lock. All right. And we are all set. So there it is. I'm happy with the positioning of the glass. Okay. And of the image. So you're going to go over to your parameters. And as you can see, there's the different things that you can pick. I already took the liberty. Save some time. I picked glass monochromic engraving. Make sure it's checked. And look, it's already preset for you. 35% power, 150 uh, MMS. And I just want to uh, etch it one time. All right. Go up to the word export. Choose the enterprise. There's my image. Now, you don't see the glass or anything. You just see where the image is. It's a laser engraving. It's going to take, according to the BMO, it's going to take um, one minute, 25 seconds. So since the uh, BMO is in the other part of my office, we're going to hit the start button, and then I got to get over to the BMO. Here we go. Three, two, one, start. <laughs> Okay, I still haven't plugged it in yet because what I did is I adjusted the rollers and I took one of my drinking glasses. Just this is, you know, as a demo, as a test, just to show you. But the first thing you want to do as you do with anything you are laser engraving is you want to adjust your laser focus. All right. So remember that little piece of acrylic, you flip it down, let it touch the surface in this case of the glass. And then when you have it, Tighten up your brass ring. Take your little acrylic piece. Sorry. Okay, and point it back up. The laser is now focused and ready to engrave on the glass. All right. The BMO has already positioned itself. It is now starting the laser engraving of the glass. This is so cool. And I'm going to be honest with you, I cheated a little bit. I've already engraved the other side of the glass because I wanted to make sure that everything I was doing was correct. And it was. This was the first time. So I'm now doing the opposite side of the glass. The machine is, is rather quiet. It's really not that loud. Now keep in mind, because the, the rollers are adjustable, I can do a small glass, a wide glass, a water bottle, a thin, skinny, wide, it doesn't matter. And you can go up to basically a 30, 32 ounce tumbler. 
as long as you um, adjust the laser head with that piece of acrylic and you have the laser head focused that does the focusing you can see again like you remember from my yesterday's video I'm a Star Trek fan so it's already doing the logo it is almost done Now doing the word star. You can see the rollers turning very slightly. This is gonna make Glowforge users jealous because Glowforge's been talking about releasing a rotary attachment for their unit. It's been a year. <laughs> Gotta love it. Look, it's already done. A minute and whatever it was, 20 seconds. Wait for the machine to power down. I mean, I can open it now and remove it, but I don't want to. I always wait for safety reasons. Let the machine shut down. And as you can see, even through the acrylic shield, you have a nice, clean etching. The machine just powered down. I can now open the laser. And there you have it, folks. Laser engraved, etched into the glass. There was the first one I did. The logo was a little bit, you know, thinner. It wasn't as wide. I made it a little bit bigger. But there you go, guys. Laser etched or laser engraved glass. Thank you for joining me. For those of you interested, if you have any questions, please feel free to call my office at 631-730-7228. You can email me at peter at acesdeals.net. I'm glad that you were able to be introduced to the Flux Bemo. This is a beautiful, well-constructed machine. Layaway is available on this unit. We have three different sizes, 30 watt, 40 watt, 50 watt, at less the price of a Glowforge. Have a great day, guys, and thank you for watching.